Ooh, I don't think Greenpeace people are gonna like this video. Greenpeace has had a lot to say over the past years about nuclear energy. So I think it's about time a nuclear physicist fact checked their website and their statements. Without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so let's first start from, I guess, the general website, uh, right? Read a little bit about Greenpeace and what they have been doing. I see already the moment I open the website, the first thing I see is give to Greenpeace $25 a month. Relax, you're making millions. <laughs> <laughs> to push <laughs> for a non-profit organization. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's fun how it doesn't say donate or something. It says give to Greenpeace it's $25. And then the button next to it is not donate or pay. It's give <laughs> in capital letters. I'm not going to give, but if the information is impressive enough, maybe I'll consider giving. <laughs> so let's see, general website, what we're doing. We've been campaigning for green and peaceful future for 50 years and we're not stopping now. Aggressive, straight to the point. It's time to rise up like never before and fight for our climate and communities. I'm all for that. Let's do it. Let's see how you do that. We defend the natural world and promote peace by investigating key, exploring, confronting environmental abuse, championing environmentally responsible solutions and advocating for the right and well-being of all people. I absolutely agree with all of these statements. That's nice. We take action only where we and our supporters can make the biggest impacts, where people's lives are most affected and where environmental risks are most dire. The problems we're tackling are big. It takes a huge effort. A little bit of bragging here and there to justify the $25 a month. <laughs> it takes a huge effort to make uh, possible by people all over the world. That's where we come in. Our movement is inclusive people-powered and collective with people like you at the center. Like me, did I already become a part of it without even consenting? We care just as much as about big political and corporate changes as we do about empowering people to act in their homes and communities. Empowerment goes both ways. The weight and resources that we are able to devote to pushing for a greener and more peaceful world are only made possible because of the courage, heart and collective power of the people like you. Okay, well, all in all, I see that in the front page they are very active. Activism is definitely the key of what they're doing and they seem to be very eager about it and not easily stoppable. And if they are doing it for the right cause, then I don't see the problem with that. But uh, let's move on and go a little bit more in depth. So I opened up a page about nuclear energy and uh, under the title nuclear energy first thing that we read is nuclear power is dirty dangerous and expensive say no to new nukes and i have a lot to say about this sentence <laughs> to be honest i kind of expected this treatment let's say of greenpeace towards nuclear even though i didn't expect it to be so forward uh, but i expected these to be their statements uh, but dirty dangerous and expensive. Say no to new nukes. I want to see how they explore these definitions, but only the fact that they use the word nukes to describe nuclear energy, even though it's usually referred to nuclear weapons, is already quite misleading and is using basically terminology that is not usually applied to nuclear energy in the nuclear industry in order to promote this kind of, uh, let's say, negative image that uh, they are planning to picture about nuclear, but let me not be too biased, right? This is just one sentence. Maybe they will clear it out in the rest of the text. Nuclear energy has no place in a safe, clean and sustainable future, says Greenpeace. Nuclear energy is both expensive and dangerous and just because nuclear pollution is invisible doesn't mean it's clean. Renewable energy is better for the environment. Yeah, I would have no doubt. The economy Mm, interesting, I want to see the numbers, and doesn't come with the risk of a nuclear meltdown. Uh, Greenpeace got its start protesting nuclear weapons starting back in 1971. And I like how immediately from the nuclear energy, the first paragraph they are talking about is about nuclear weapons. So it's literally like trying to make it as one thing, even though they are completely separate, separate the non-proliferation section and the nuclear weapons section and industry are not related to each other. Maybe they were when nuclear started, but they're definitely not in the 21st century. And it's interesting how they keep promoting that same idea and belief to the people who might not have 
as, let's say, advanced knowledge on the nuclear energy and get these kind of things as facts from the Greenpeace website. We've been fighting against nuclear weapons and nuclear power ever since. Yeah, fighting against nuclear weapons, I agree. Fighting against nuclear energy, which is the title of your blog post. How is that relevant? High-profile disasters in Chernobyl, Ukraine in 1986 and Fukushima, Japan 2011 have raised public awareness of the dangers of nuclear power. Consequently, zeal for nuclear energy has fizzled. The catastrophic risk of nuclear energy, like the meltdowns of nuclear reactors in Japan and Ukraine, far outweigh the potential benefits. New nuclear plants are more expensive and take longer to build than renewable energy sources like wind or solar. If we are to avoid the most damaging impact of climate change, we need solutions that are fast and affordable. Nuclear power is neither. We can do better than trading off one disaster for another. The nuclear age is over and the age of renewables has begun. This is a very one-sided approach to the whole topic, which I kind of expected and that was going to happen. Let's say pushing all the negative and the disadvantages of the one energy source and very strongly and one-sidedly promoting only the positive stuff of the other energy source, which in this case is renewables. I don't disagree that the nuclear accidents that happened in uh, Chernobyl and in Fukushima are detrimental and uh, the industry has learned from them and has moved on to better and safer constructions and even modifications of the generation 3 reactors which are not mentioned here and yes the nuclear industry has fizzled and the, the interest for it has went down after these accidents because people were scared and people were falling back and trying to fix the problems that they currently were facing in order to even move forward and develop new technology in the nuclear industry. But currently the nuclear industry is pretty much booming and there is a lot of interest and a lot of research and from the industry and the research and academia side, both development for the nuclear energy is quite strong at the moment. So I'm not sure where this information is taken from or if maybe the information is dating at the same time that Greenpeace started protesting, which is around the 70s, but it's definitely not the case in 2023. And uh, I do disagree with the fact that the renewable energies are seem to be by Greenpeace solely the solution for a clean and affordable and a sustainable environmental energy solution, because we do know very well that they are good and they have their advantages. However, they are detrimental and do uh, destroy the environment and have impact on the environment in their own way, besides the fact that the efficiency of the renewables are quite low, that they cannot currently be used sustainably by themselves, meaning that they always need the backup energy in order to facilitate that extra energy supply that is necessary when the renewables are not performing, for example during the night if you have solar or when it's not blowing wind during uh, any time of the day for the wind, uh, power and so on. So yes, I do agree that renewables of course have their advantages and this is the reason why they are being promoted and people are working on them so strongly and they are being employed in part of the world so that it makes sense. But at the same time, it's not only negative stuff that are associated with nuclear power, there's a lot of positive things such as the efficiency of the energy production that you can get, the installation in uh, remote areas and uh, even more things that you can do besides electricity production with nuclear energy that are not merely mentioned here in order for you to make a well-rounded and objective opinion about the nuclear energy and the renewable energy as a whole. The dangers of nuclear energy. I wonder if any of these paragraphs has as a title the advantages of nuclear energy, just to see. I'm not saying that you should necessarily be pro-nuclear, but even if you are against or if you are neutral, you still should be able to present all the facts. If you're presenting part of the facts, even though, even though you know that other facts exist, then you're basically hiding part of the truth, which is not really so nice image that the Greenpeace portrays of themselves, of a company that is so big and even requests you to pay them $25 a month for this kind of information. Let's see. So meltdowns like the ones at Fukushima or Chernobyl release an enormous amount of radiation into the surrounding com communities, forcing hundreds of thousands of people to evacuate. Many of them may never come back. If the industry's current track record is any indication, we can expect a major meltdown about once a decade. The possibility of catastrophic accident of the US meltdown cannot be dismissed. There is still no safe, reliable solution for dealing with radioactive waste. Actually, there is. 
produced by nuclear power plants. Every waste dumped in the US leaks radiation into the environment and nuclear plants themselves are running out of waste to store highly radioactive waste on site. The site selected to store the US's radioactive waste, Ayuka Mountain in Nevada, is both volcanically and seismically active. Beyond the risks associated with nuclear power and radioactive waste, the threat of nuclear power Nuclear weapons looms large. The spread of nuclear technology and nuclear weapons is a threat for national security and the safety of the entire planet. It's interesting how if you take the sentences separately and you would like to discuss every sentence uh, by itself, then it does make sense and there is facts and true statements in the sentences themselves, but the fact how they cleverly mix up a whole paragraph with some sentences that make sense and some others that are way unrealistic, exaggerated or not even factual, and they try to make it all make sense so a reader can read and be like mm, okay that's not very far from the truth i guess they have a point it is really intellectually dishonest and it goes back to what i said before that it would be nice first of all to have a whole another blog post discussing about nuclear weapons if that would be a discussion that you would like to have and a different one for nuclear energy and then combining them both together but even here in the nuclear energy a section that I hope will come later on, that will be about the positive outcomes that nuclear has been contributing to the world. And even about these accidents that they are referring to, they don't really give much information about how they happened, because we do know, for example, that the Fukushima accident was not, uh, did not happen because of nuclear malfunction or some nuclear problem. It was a natural disaster that led into a nuclear accident. And it's quite important for people to know and to separate that. I'm not taking away from the fact that it is an important accident that it did happen, but I'm just saying that it is important for all the information to be present for the people to know and understand the situation in a whole well-rounded way. Nuclear energy's true cost. Nuclear energy isn't just bad for the environment. Okay, let me go back to that because I actually forgot to comment on something. It says that there is still no safe, reliable solution for dealing with the radioactive waste produced by nuclear power plants. I wonder this post when was it written? Because there is reliable and safe solution about dealing with the radioactive waste coming out of the nuclear power plants. We have geological permanent repository facilities in which the nuclear waste will be stored. Several countries are already building them. Some uh, countries like Finland already have them established and are ready to be used quite soon. Um, so it would be nice to go here and update those information, but I'm not sure if that would be of the benefit of Greenpeace to, for example, even put the countries that have an idea on how to deal with this waste and not just an idea, but an implementation and a plan in place and put a couple of links of these websites that exactly and accurately describe of how the process will be done and what will be the effect on the environment, which is none too minimal in case of an accident, instead of just intellectually dishonestly <laughs> showing this kind of information and presenting them as facts even though they are not. Nuclear energy is true cost. Nuclear energy isn't just bad for the environment, it's bad for our economy. Nuclear power plants are expensive to build, promoting, prompting Wall Street to call a new nuclear a bet of the farm risks. Every nuclear power plant under construction in the United States is well behind schedule, at least one billion over budget. This is even before taking into account the astonishing cleanup and health costs caused by radioactive waste pollution and nuclear meltdowns. Cleaning up Fukushima, if ever possible, will cost at least 100 billion and could be more than double that. Why invest money in a dangerous, unsustainable form of energy when we can have clean, renewable energy for less? What we need, no new nukes, and I'm assuming Greenpeace refers to nuclear power plants as nukes, which is misleading in itself and quite uh, frustrating. Let's say nuclear energy is uh, diverting attention and investment from the sustainable energy solutions we need. It sounds almost as if they have something to gain out of this sentence. It's time to stop building new nuclear facilities. So is it that nuclear facilities are not being built? and they are not of interest anymore to the society and the economy? Or is it that they are being built and take out the money from the sustainable development? So which is it, Greenpeace? You need to decide on what statement. You cannot contradict yourself in two different paragraphs of the same blog post. Phase out the ones that exist and focus on clean energy for the future. So it is clear that uh, 
Greenpeace doesn't consider nuclear a clean energy, neither a sustainable or a financially viable solution. Even though living in the US, they do know quite well that a substantial percentage of their energy and electricity comes from the use of nuclear energy. And just for interest, we are going to check CO2 emissions per energy source. Okay, so... So from this very quick search, you saw me, it took me probably a few seconds to find it out. There is much more information about it that would show that, you know, it wouldn't take that much time for Greenpeace to update these statements, is that um, greenhouse emissions for renewable and not renewable energy sources. And you can see, of course, as expected, coal, oil and natural gas, it's in the high and uh, they produce close to a thousand or over a thousand uh, in the scale that they are portraying here. However, as you can see for the nuclear, which is in purple because in this post is not considered renewable, which technically it is not because we don't have an unlimited supply of uranium or thorium. So eventually we will run out of it, even though with the new energy technologies and uh, new technologies for the new types of reactors, we will probably have it for, for quite some years to come. But this is a story for another time. You can see that nuclear here has a number 13 and this is uh, compared to wind, which is also 13 and is the lowest one. It is lower than any other renewable energy source, such as hydropower that has almost double, solar power that has double than nuclear and even higher, geothermal, photovoltaic, biomass, all of these sources are considered renewable. Therefore, they, based on Greenpeace, should be more environmentally sustainable than nuclear, but we very well see that they are not. So what I'm trying to show here is that not saying that nuclear is the better option than all of these, but it is important to put them all into perspective and discuss the pros and cons of every energy source and consider which one would make more sense or which combination of sources would make more sense for each country to implement for the best outcome in terms of finances, environmental sustainability, um, economics and everything that would make sense for that country. So not impressed Greenpeace, I'm not impressed at all. I didn't expect much, but I also didn't expect that little. That was a very thorough uh, digging into the nuclear energy perspective from the Greenpeace side. And um, to be honest, I'm quite disappointed. I expected a little bit more. I expected a little bit more on the neutral side. I never expected that Greenpeace would actually be for nuclear, but I expected them to provide some more objective information because it's important to give the factual objective information to the public so they can make their own decision. But it seems that Greenpeace's message is brainwashing, which I don't agree with. Let me know what you think down in the comments and uh, if you support more the Greenpeace side or are you more on the neutral and objective side or maybe you do think that the, the way that Greenpeace projects things is actually neutral. So I would like to know your thoughts in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on the bell notification icon. It's been Elena, your friendly nuclear physicist and until next time, see you soon. And then the button next to it is not donate or pay, it's give. <laughs>